<laughs> show on JTV. Is there something going on? There's something going on. Back Who was it? That wasn't Todd. That wasn't Todd Emmons. Uh, was it Brandon? I forgot what I was supposed to read. Tell me again. <laughs> Our show today is brought to you by Homesteady of Greater Jackson, and uh, they take care of all of your home maintenance or handyman needs. If you have a honey-do list, call them. They'll take care of it. Thanks to Homesteady of Greater Jackson. Our next guests are, are from the Jackson County Department of Transportation. We have uh, Director of Engineering and Managing Director Angela Klein and Jim Cole. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for being here. So uh, there's a lot on the ballot. There's a ton on the ballot, but we're talking roads today. Yes, yeah. In Michigan, there's 60 ballot proposals for roads statewide. Wow. But I think two in Jackson County, okay. one renewal, and then Leone Township is a new proposal. That's all everyone wants to talk about, right, is the roads. And, uh, but there are some that, uh, that need repair for sure. Talk a little bit about uh, what this improvement bond proposal would bring to Leone. All right, so Leone Township has 91 miles of local roads. Okay. Um, so it would be improving those 91 miles of local roads. They have uh, 13 miles of gravel roads, and if this was approved and done, they wouldn't have any more gravel roads. Okay. It would pave all the gravel road surfaces. Mm. So uh, you can talk about your PACER. Oh, yeah, so this is our, so we rate our PACER, our, our roads by uh, PACER rating, which okay. is a surface evaluation. Um, and here is Leone Township. Uh, you can see their primary roads, they have some decent, we have some decent roads on the primaries, but uh, you know, it's 97% of their local roads are in poor condition. Mm. That's the red lines. Um, so you, they're in significant need of some rehabilitation. Wow, that's a lot of red. So we've had- It's a lot uh, of miles of road too. A lot of road, yeah. So we've had ballot proposals and the successful uh, ones in uh, Summit, Spring Arbor, uh, Blackman, uh, what else? Is that it? We have some um, pay-as-you-go type ones in mm -hmm. Concord, Concord Township yeah. has one, and that's on renewal for this yeah. uh, uh, so November 2. For Summit and uh, Spring Arbor, uh, it's un unbelievable. It's a complete transformation. And, and I know it's not quite done, but is that the same kind of thing that's, that you're proposing for uh, Leone? Yeah. Yep. So Summit and Spring Arbor are done. Blackman is not done yet. But yeah, for Leone, uh, if it was approved, it would take about six construction seasons to do their 91 miles of local roads wow. um, and have new surfaces on top. So let's talk uh, about the details. What, uh, what's the estimated cost? What's the cost to the taxpayers, top cost that the county will incur? Let's, uh, let's talk about those numbers. All right, so it's just shy, shy of $36 million total, total package. Project. Yep. Um, which is just over 25 million township and then almost 11 million JCDOT cost that would be put into that over those six years. Uh, to the taxpayers, it means about a four, million, four mils the first year and then uh, 3.83 mils for yeah. the following 16 years because okay. it is a 17 year uh, proposal. Does it cost more to uh, convert a gravel road to a paved road than to redo a, a paved road? Uh, it depends on the type of road you're comparing it to. Mm -hmm. If it's a yeah. road that's in, doesn't need to be like crush and shaped or recycled, then um, yeah, it would cost more. Mm -hmm. But a gravel road has a good base, so we're really just adding some gravel on top and paving over yeah. it, typically. Jim, it costs a lot more to build a road today than it did 20 years ago. Obviously, everyone's talking about inflation, uh, cost of goods, services, the labor market. Of course, all things uh, that uh, are needed to complete a project like that. Um, talk a little bit about how the, yeah. how the inflation has uh, really kind of almost doubled. Well, it has, has doubled in 20 years. It wow. is, yeah, it's, uh, our cost, so we, we broke down, these are all projects that we did at JCDOT, starting in 2002, so we had the big companies would come and pave we, we a ton of asphalt for 34, a little over 34 and a half dollars a ton. Mm -hmm. um, this year, we uh, early before the summer blew up, uh, we were getting quotes at $98.50 a ton. Uh, during the middle of the year, we even got quotes at $150 a ton really? to do like, what we call mainline paving, mm -hmm. which is, uh, you know, go down on a primary road and just start paving for miles. Okay. A fun fact, it takes about 1,400 tons to pave one mile of road. I was just so. going to say, yeah. <laughs> it's, so, um, 
what uh, what are some of the main roads that people would recognize that would benefit? Obviously, a lot of roads, but right away that they would uh, they would notice some main main roads that you guys would be working on. So not this slide. This okay. slide is the primaries that um, the township and the county board uh, voted to do a special project with us this this past. Okay. Well, we just got done with it, but that was for primary roads. Okay. So Leone Township residents have um, 8.11 miles, I think, of primary mm -hmm. roads that we partnered with them. So JCDOT had the labor and material costs, and then the county and Leone Township used their marijuana tax revenues mm -hmm. to pay for the materials for those roads. Okay. So those were primary roads, but that was an example um, to try to get people to see what they could have if, if they uh, approved this initiative. So. Um, but main locals? Right yeah, so uh, Huggins Road, um, you know, Noon Road, right mm -hmm. around the golf course. Page Ave is actually, uh, once you get past Ballard Road, is a local road. So those are some of your primary or your heavier traffic yeah. local roads that would be done. And then, of course, the subdivisions. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Which everyone would everyone be very wants. happy with. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know there's a lot of people around the county whose subdivision has been repaved. And it almost changes uh, what I've... I've heard it changes the way they feel about pulling into the, their neighborhood. We see it and we hear yeah. it from the townships that now uh, into the contractors, hey, we're doing a lot more Roughly. driveway repair here or, yeah. or, or, or yard maintenance. Mm -hmm. You don't see them just parking on the edge of the road anymore. Right. They're, they're starting to take pride in the and how the appearance looks from the road. This is a, a unique uh, funding, uh, uh, I think, method where the township and the county partner to leverage the, the funding to get more done? It, it's unique, but there are 811 road millages in the state active right now. So um, it's unfortunately, it's what a lot of people have had to do. The MTF or the, the tax, the money that we get at the pump that people pay isn't covering um, the rehabilitation of the roads. Uh -huh. So it's a needed method. And that's really, when people talk about the roads and the governor says fix the damn roads, the, the state, um, they have responsibility for some, but it really falls on uh, local jurisdictions uh, to take care of the local roads. Yeah, they're um, currently 46% of all the townships in the state of Michigan have some sort of road funding uh, millage. Um, and you know they don't specifically say the township but there there's not a lot of other revenue sources that could uh, uh that could help yeah the marijuana uh revenue that's going to be significant for the only township do we know how significant that that was for this project well the the paving that they did they yeah. put 300 uh, just under just 400 thousand yeah. significant in yeah. um, but yeah. at the public meetings we held for this uh proposal the residents did ask the township board about putting in, you know, a percent of that each uh, year, and they don't know how much they'll get. Last year, mm -hmm. or two years ago, it was zero, so they don't know right. how much they'll get each year, so it's hard for them to commit to putting that in. Mm -hmm. but. It's likely to go up rather than down, I would think. Most yeah. things in life most go up <laughs> and come. <laughs> most things, for sure. Right. Are you guys hiring right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. anyone with a CDL, we are hiring. Uh, right. We or mechanics. We have um, a few positions for mechanics open, but I think it's six or seven plow drivers we're still looking okay. for. Awesome. Yeah, and that's that snow's coming quick. Yeah. Sh <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Thank you guys uh, for coming in and explaining the uh, improvement bond. We appreciate it. Thank you. Good to see you guys, Angela Klein and Jim Cole from Jackson County Department of Transportation. Todd Emmons and Bill Jors will join us right after this break.